Hi friends, I'm Angie and I'm at the Stone Castle Hotel and Conference Center and we are looking for our friend Jay and I think that I have found him. Well, hello there, Jay. Hi, Angie. What are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm decorating good for Christmas. Okay. You see this tree? It's my Charlie Brown tree. It's 40 feet tall and you can never get started too soon to decorate for Christmas. <laughs> well, Jay, it looks like you need help. It's that obvious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I actually, can you come down here and talk to me? I need to tell you what I did. Yeah, please, I've got a sweat worked up. It's only the hottest day in July, so here we are. Yeah. So, thanks for coming by. Hey, so guess what? What? I have a really good friend who lives in the North Pole. I hope he has some helpers, because I, I need help. That tree's too tall, and we kind of got big plans around here this winter, or this Christmas, and uh, I need help. Who do you know? You know what, I called Santa. I just called him right up and I said, you know what, Santa, I know you can see and I know you've been watching, but our friend Jay, he needs help. Only you would have a direct connection to Santa's hotline. That's perfect. It is perfect. And you know what he said? No. He said he's going to send you some elves off the shelf. Off the shelf? That's right. So, so did, go did, ahead. did he tell you all the plans that we have? He didn't tell us all, but, but there's something going on right out there in that gazebo, right? Yeah, we decorate that area. In fact, this is going to be the biggest Christmas we've ever had at the Stone Castle Hotel. We always decorate inside and out, and of course we decorate the 40-foot tree. And we're going to have a special room this year. Santa had a special word for it or something. What was it called? The, I don't know. The Christmas Hall. That's it. Christmas Hall. We got the Christmas Hall, and... Uh, you know, I mean, everyone could decorate a tree. That's kind of, well, it's not quite normal, but the Christmas hall is something special. And we thought we'd do something starting at the beginning of November, just when Christmas starts in Branson. Go figure. But starting in the beginning of November, all the way through about the second week of December, every night in the Christmas hall, we would have a special reading of Christmas stories. And of course, these Christmas stories would be read by very special people that are living right here in Branson. And we like to have fun. We call them Branson what do you want, royalty, royalty? Yeah. nobility. So these would be people certainly more important than me, which <laughs> this is everybody. So, but we're talking about maybe some Branson stars, some Branson friends, some friends of the hotel. And so every night you would get hot wassail, cookies. You could wear your pajamas. You could bring the kids down. And this would be after the show, like at 10.30 at night. And, you know, and what's cool about the Christmas hall, it has a little fireplace. And so you'd all go cuddled up, get around the fireplace, and this very special person is going to read the Christmas story to you every night that you're here at the hotel. Wow. That sounds like so much hmm. fun. But and you talked to Santa. So I did. So did I leave anything out? <clears throat> well, Santa said that he would actually need to use the elves also. And so if our guests, while they are here, are writing letters to him, then the elves will take them to him every night, the letters, and then have his answer returned to them every morning to their room. Those are helpful elves. They're very helpful elves. They're his elves. <laughs> they, they probably do what he tells them to do, right? Okay, so for Christmas then, this is something that's never happened at Stone Castle. Right. Every night. <laughs> we're back. back. Christmas took a little time out just for a minute, but we're back. So to recap, what we're going to do is we're celebrating Christmas as we get ready as I'm decorating today on the hottest day of July. So we'll have the Christmas haul, and then we'll have Christmas stories, and then we're going to, look at that big coat. <laughs> You've wow. got hot wassail. So the whole tour could come that night. That's right. Everybody on the coach could come get hot wassail and listen to a Christmas story. That's so right. it's for groups, it's for individuals, it's for anybody. So it'll be pretty fun. Awesome. And so what are we going to do for our contest this week? Well, we got to promote this. So we're going to pick one of our Christmas, favorite Christmas shows, and that's the Hay Goods. So the Hay Goods had a great Christmas show. So we're going to give away two tickets to the Hay Goods, and then we're going to give away one of our jetted tubs, one of our specialty rooms where you can bathitate. Because everyone likes to bathitate. Even after you have hot waffle, your tummy is full, you've had your cookies, and you're feeling pretty good about things. You're like, Santa loves me. Okay? 
<laughs> so that's pretty fun. And, uh, and so we're going to have this contest. So you need to like, share, and comment. And then we're going to talk about this throughout the rest of the year. So you'll have plenty of chances to win. And if you know anybody with a taller ladder than me, you can come help me decorate this tree. Because I don't think I'm very good at this. Excellent. Okay, friends. It's time for Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye.